Happy Sabbath. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Glory to Yahushua Hamasaya, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Baruch Shabbat. That's nice Jewish blessings to you. We thank the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel for the grace the Lord has shown to us. Beloved, Jesus Christ is coming. You might believe or not. You might be an agonist, an atheist, a skeptic. But I can tell you, the rapture and the coming of Jesus Christ is imminent. I've been a man of God by His grace since 1991. And by His grace, the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is coming. I had a dream of the rapture. I've had it more than five times. Last night I had it. I had it and what I saw troubled me. That many were left behind. Many were left behind in the church. And it troubles me. So when the Lord told me, I woke up and prayed. Pray for the people. For the church. For myself. For you. I asked myself, Lord, why many of them are left? The Lord spoke to my head and said, because they didn't walk in my ways and commands and statutes. They abused my grace. They abuse the grace I've given to them. And the grace they thought they can do anything anyhow. Because it's grace. So they go astray, come for repentance, do the same thing and do, and I discarded them. That is why they are not free. I said, Lord, but I know your steadfast love never fails. He said, yes, my steadfast love doesn't fail. It is true. Son, my mercy doesn't fail. But remember, every soul that sin must die. Love it. You can't go to church and pay tight. Buy gas to go to church. Help in church building with money, everything. And our souls are not secure. We are not living in accordance with the promptings of the Holy Spirit. We are not living according to the word of God. But rather, we allow some things to choke us. The curse of the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, the pride of life, money, material things. To the extent that somebody, even two weeks, have not prayed even 30 minutes before. Or one week had not prayed even one hour. And so therefore we become spiritually tired, fatigued, and then the flesh sets in, and we fall into diverse things. That dissuades us from the grace of the Lord. So many were not wretched. I said, Lord, I know you forgive sin. He said, yes, I forg- I've forgiven those who have repented and have not returned back to the same sin. When you repent truly, the Lord said to me, then I forgive you. But if you don't repent truly, and it's a false repentance, the sin stands and stays and stays. I said, Lord, really? He said, yes. That is why many were not raptured. You saw it. I showed to you to tell the whole world that my coming is very near. And then, then the Lord spoke to my heart and said again, Son, there's nothing that I've hidden to you and the world. That the seasons you shall know of my coming. And the Lord said, remember Israel. So the moment he said, I said, oh yes Lord, the fig tree. Yes Lord, I said, Lord, Israel is born. I said, yes son, it's born. What did I say in my word? I said, Lord, I hear. So beloved is the Lord, Israel has been established in the 48th. 
I can't afford you and I to lose the salvation Christ. We shall leave our projects and our houses, our cars, their cars, it's nothing. Our accolades and degrees, and then it's nothing. I want you to think, please. I want you to think deeply. Where will I spend eternity? When this flesh breaks down, where my soul spend eternity? That is what somebody might say. This man has so much time as a doctor to be preaching and preaching. It's not about that. But the love of God I love for you, and God has compelled me and called me for that. And for you to make it. No matter what sins that I have committed, when you repent truly, He will forgive you right now. Right now. Right now. By right truly right confessing to Jesus yourself. Unconfessed sins are not forgiven. I repeat, unconfessed sins are not forgiven. When you confess from your mouth, you live to God that I won't return to this immorality or to the drinking and destruction and carrying bullying, measuring lies, observing the Sabbath, not for watching idols and material things. We make idols a lot. Money can be an idol. Anything you worship more than God is an idol. TV can be TV. Watching too much, not even praying and reading the word of God can be an idol. Anything you worship more than God is an idol. Even material thing can be an idol. So we have to think. We have to reason in the spirit. And the Holy Ghost will help you. You cannot do by yourself. The Holy Spirit is helping me and you. In our imperfectness, as we cry every day, His mercies are new every morning. And trust me, according to the word of God, God will never leave you. No matter what state you are in, if you are willing to get out of that prison and from that captivity, then the anointing of the Holy Spirit will break and give you liberty and set your soul free through the blood of Jesus. As simple as that. The power of the Holy Ghost is omnipresent. It's present wherever you are. Whether in Ghana or Russia or America or whatever. The power of the Holy Ghost, God, is omnipresent. And omnipotent. All powerful. The power of God, as I speak to you now on the video, can reach you in Jesus' name. To break every power burning against you. The Esha was with me break His name is Jesus Christ. So salvation alone comes through Jesus Christ and no, not through anybody. No one can take you to heaven. It's only through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Period and full stop. Nobody, no human born of flesh can take you to heaven. It's only through Jesus Christ, the son of the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. And to his way that he has spoken through the Bible, that we walk in and hear and walk in. Study the Bible. I Take what God said. For the Yamiaka. The Yamisimi and Yami and yet. We can only overcome the flesh by praying perfectly. We can only overcome the flesh by praying perfectly and earnestly. Every time. When we pray, the spirit overcomes the flesh. And we are able to move and zoom in the spiritual realm. Even as you walk in the flesh, you have power in the Holy Ghost. So that is why Apostle Paul said, In all things, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, who strengthens you and I. So you are more than a conqueror. Only if you allow Christ Jesus to reside in you, become a Lord in your life, save your life and your life, then you are more than conqueror. And that means no weapon form against you shall prosper. And every tongue against you in judgment. Jesus' name is condemned. Please, as I end my message, we have prayed the whole night. I'm so tired to go and sleep. The rapture cannot care this night as I say. 
And I'll care right now. Or tomorrow. If you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ. Or you are not in his way. Pray this prayer with me. And you want to say. As some people are marching to say yes to you. Yes. Or your dog. Pray with me this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ. I'm a sinner. I come to you this morning. I'm asking for forgiveness of sins. I've sinned against you, Lord. I accept you as my Savior. Come into my heart. Be the Lord in my life. Cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse my sins with your blood. Purify me, Lord, with your blood. Forgive me of my immoralities. Forgive me of my drinking, dirty life, murdering, lies, deceit, worshiping idols. Forgive me for following your moral law. Forgive me, God. Cleanse me. Purify me. Lord, I ask for your strength. Even your Holy Spirit to reside in me. As I truly confess my sin, forgive me, Lord Jesus. You were wounded for my transgression. You were bruised for my iniquity. And through the chastisement of you, lies my peace, Lord. And by your stripes that you received on your back, all the lashes through that stripes. I am healed. May you heal me from every infirmity. And Lord, may you write my name in the book of life. I thank you for saving me. I thank you for being my Lord. I thank you for resurrecting me. I thank you for Lord, invite me to your kingdom. I thank you for everything. Lord Jesus, give me the spirit of faith, power, might and love to follow you. And thank you for accepting my soul. Please, if you are praying this prayer, you are saved. You are invited to the kingdom of God now. You, you didn't pay anything. You didn't pay anything. You shouldn't go to pray something to a, a, a prophet or whatever priest, whoever, for prayer consultation. Jesus gave us the gift. He said, go out, kill the sick, cast out devils. Preaching the kingdom of God, salvation of souls, that's it. Freely, I receive. Freely, you are given. You should go and share the love of Jesus Christ with somebody. So then, we shall meet. Thank you so much, and I encourage you to get a good Bible. Normally, I like King James Version, KJV. You can order on Google, it's very good. They have the amplified version. Use that, that one will help you. Also, I recommend um, Bible Exposition from Jimmy Swaggart Ministries, JSM. They are very, very good. They will help you. If you don't understand anything, you can reach me through the Facebook. Also, our number in America, New York, 1516 1516-395-1086. Those outside is 001-516-395-1080Z. You can send messages on Facebook. Prayer request, I will pray for you. I will try to reach you. I'm a medical doctor, very busy. And also a man of God. So you can know how busy I am. But I receive a lot of prayer requests and I pray to the Lord. I pray for you. Pray for me. Alright? You can also WhatsApp me. I will try my best. I will try my best to reach you. At the earliest convenient time. So next week, in Ghana, UK time, outside Canada, and the United States in the morning, 2 a.m. from Ghana, 3 a.m. from UK, and of course 4 a.m. from uh, Berlin, 
and Raxia, I believe, 6 a.m. We shall be praying on Saturday. Friday, 10 p.m. in New York time. Please check your local listings in other states, United States, of course, in Canada. And we shall meet again. God, we shall bless you all. Bye-bye. So long. Lord, I give you glory and praise for all that you have done. I decrease in glory that you will be increasing glory. Replenish the virtue that have lost for me, Lord. The anointing I pray. Bless my family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye. Thank you. Presley, I see you. Bimpon, I see you. Jacob, I see you. Mercy, I see you from Dubai. Mercy, thank you for helping me in United Arab Emirates, right? God bless you. Thank you very much at the hotel. I enjoyed your country. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.